One of the things kinship caregivers rarely do is put themselves first. I think for a lot of caregivers, when you're first starting out in kinship care, you're strictly doing it out of obligation. There may be feelings of ambivalence about what you're doing, but you don't have a chance to address that at the beginning. Because what we're starting to realize is how you feel as a kinship caregiver does impact the safety and well-being of children. You hear it at the airport all the time, please put your mask on first before assisting others who need help. Sounds very selfish, but it's important that you be conscious, that you be aware, so that you can then assist someone else. But you can't do that if you've passed out because you didn't have oxygen. So for relative caregivers, it's the same way. Your instinct is going to be put the children first. I think this is important where you have to be okay for the children to be okay. They need to want to do what they're doing. They need to feel like there's a, a benefit to what they're doing. See, for relative caregivers, there's a lot of loss. And, the, and it's losses that can't be replaced. They can't get the years back. And you're also having feelings where it's starting to impact your children. And they're starting to feel like, maybe grandmom doesn't like me. So if you're having those kinds of feelings, you need to step back and ask yourself and put yourself first by asking the question, can I? Should I and can I continue being a caregiver?